Okay, okay. get there that board and spray the deadline. Yep, that's a good idea. Okay. This corner is drier than the corner, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Ironic. Howdy. I noticed you were trying to call me. Well, you know, I, I was pretty, I was pretty sure you had forgotten about the year. I, was, I thought maybe you heard that. <laughs> so you were sure. That being said, I, I said I'd call you. Thank you, sir. <laughs>
And I think uh, I did not hear from the telephone company, but there is a telephone pedestal on the west side of the road, so I think the telephone line goes up the west side of that road also. But uh, I told the power company that you know, whenever I know or think there are utilities uh, within the road right of the way that's being proposed for vacation, I include a note in the in the final resolution that says, whereas it was noted that the utility companies retain the right to continue in possession of a right of way after vacation that was in effect prior to vacation of the road right of way, and that's uh, Iowa Code Section 306.22. So even though we vacate the road, the utility still has the right to, to maintain their facilities there. Uh, the letter we, we wouldn't have the ability to discontinue that easement if you wanted to. Um, you know, since we, you know, they have to get a permit from us to put the, you know, install the lines, but we don't have, I mean, we don't own the property, so we can't give them an easement to something that we don't own, but the code says that they, you know, they do continue in possession of whatever, which they I, had. I, I mean, I understand, I just, I didn't think, uh, uh, just, just because there's a transfer of property, the easement goes with the property. Yeah, but the thing is, with the with the way they're authorized to the easement, they don't, we don't really give them an easement. We just tell them you allow them to be allow there. Them to be there, and we tell them where we, we, you've got permission as far as telling them where and why we want them and how we want it. You know, like very lines, we can tell them we want them against the right way or up on the shoulder, and you know that they got. <clears throat> reseed and, and straighten it out once they're done. But technically, I, you know, I don't think there's any way we can stop them uh, from servicing <clears throat> the public. So, um, <coughs> I did send a letter, and I assume everybody got it. I guess I, the second letter, I'm just trying to explain some of the options as far as vacating it. Uh, if we would vacate it, as the notice said, it would vacate it clear to the south line of trenches property. Um, but if you did that, the access to Canyon Road from Crafts and Thorpe's, um, the technician would need an easement uh, from either Becker or Lynch to access their property. Uh, one of the op other options is to vacate to the north line of Lynch's property, which would maintain access to the public road for all property owners and the approximately 630 feet of road would be vacated to do that. Um, or we could have vacated to some point north of Lynch's driveway that would provide enough room to turn the <coughs> maintenance equipment around in. Uh, again, Crafts or Thorpe would need an act easement to access their property to do that. So um, we were out and uh, took some measurements to the <coughs> the fence that's in place on the north side of, of uh, the Trent Lynch property. And uh, he happened to be out there. Uh, I talked to him by phone, but then he was also out there yesterday, and he would prefer that the, the uh, road be vacated at his north fence line. Um, I don't know, landowner, does that sound feasible? That's what we were thinking. I think everybody's in agreement to do it at the north fence line. But Ron, if you vacate it from the north fence line, north, can you still have your turnaround then just south? So, and the reason I ask that, uh, on Trent's property, there really isn't much of a ditch. But just adjacent to that north boundary line, the ditch really goes deep. So for, if you would vacate at the fence line and have your turnaround north of that fence line, it's going to be problematic, I think, to, and costly to have to build some sort of a turnaround. Well, I think, in, according to, to Trent, this past winter all they did was plow past his place and then back up and turn around in his driveway. And so, unless somebody's got something else they'd rather see us do, that's probably what we could continue to we, do. We don't care about a turnaround, that's for fine you, for the county whether they want one. I think he preferred to, that 
I assume the landowners are going to put up some gates at the end of the, you know, where you're closing it, or where we're vacating it to. I thought that the county had done putting the gates on other roads that you had abandoned, but provide keys. Well, we've we've done that on a Class C road. Class C, where which we, isn't really abandoned. There's still a Class C. Road. There's still a public road. We just put the gates on them so that the people that need access down in there have got keys to get in. I don't know that we put any gates up on one that we vacated, actually. The ones that we vacated four years ago, of course, we put the barricades up on both sides so that, you know, you couldn't drive down in there because there was no road. I mean, we leveled the road out. In this situation, I assume you're going to leave the road pretty much as it is for your access drive uh, to get up in there. So I guess that's something I really hadn't discussed was the point I was going to be making was wherever the gates get put, uh, I think Trench would prefer that they were uh, at the north fence line. That way if anybody comes up there and turns around, they, he's got a little driveway up there that he thinks they can turn around there instead of turn around in his main driveway. But that, and that has been our I guess since we've been here, the, the gates are put on Class C, but those aren't abandoned. They, they still remain county property. In this, uh, in this instance, as we did previously with, with the other piece, we're abandoning it uh, totally. I mean, the, the barricade is in place at the end of where it was vacated before. Uh, <clears throat> I would propose that, that the county left that there, that we didn't take it down, and but that we would not maintain it in the future. Because if anybody, you know, if the gates were open or somebody gets around the gates, we don't want them driving <laughs> over the hill where there isn't any road. <coughs> but I don't, I would say we we wouldn't maintain them in the future. We'd just leave what they, what's there, there at this point. Well, I think we're all in agreement that it'd be on the north line of the trench. It's property. I mean, Jeff, you, and Kelly, you're fine with that. We're fine yeah. with that. Trent's fine with that. The issue then becomes, do you barricade it or do you put gates up? The problem with barricading is the easement issue. If the electric company needs to get in there, barricades are not able to. So I, I think barricades out of the question. So we're left with gates. And the question is, who stands the cost of the gates? And we're saying that's the property owner. Unless you convert this to a Class C road, then it wouldn't be abandoned. What kind? What kind of road is it now? Um, that's a I, I didn't, I didn't probably even probably check. A B. I didn't even check the level. Now it's probably an A because is there's it still no, A? There's no, no sign. Say, yeah, there's no okay, sign. Then, then it must be A. A. I think it's I think it's an A. Um, if you convert it to a C. I don't know the procedure, I don't research that, but if you convert this portion from a C rather than abandoning it, abandoning it, then the county would put up the gates. But people could through. ride in there. Well, so you know, only if they have a key though, right, Dean? I mean, they could, they're well, still locked? No, like for example, just a point like that road down by Herring, and Carl Wilson's property is, <clears throat> but, you know, those gates are open. It's a, it's an open road. It hasn't been vacated. So if hunters, for example, if the gates are open, if they run the gates down or, or drive around the gates, they're, they're not trespassing. Well, I think that's precisely the reason we're here, right, Jeff? I think yeah. the, people, I, I'm the hunters guessing, that are getting in there yeah. and going up and down our meeting. Yeah. So we'd be better off doing the abandonment, even if we pay for the gates ourselves. I would. I, and I, I would have. I think. Yeah. I, I mean, from, from our position, I, I would prefer to abandon because I'm not done work or done. done. And, uh, Let's see, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's some conservationists and hunters that always hate for us to abandon the road because they're losing right away to hunt. 